Hi, welcome back to Project Ascension. I'm your host, Andrew Mallows, and we have some breaking news with about CERN. And with us today, I have Mick Mac, uh, Mick Mac Shaman, former Sergeant Patty Albasard, U.S. Army Freedom Team, NASA Black Project Contractor and Communications, and uh, Her Grace Karen Ann Lucic McDonald, 13th Bear Clan, 13th White Bear Clan mother, and for uh, maybe Sergeant Daniel Brad McBolin, United States Air Force. And go ahead and unmute yourself, guys, and go ahead and start getting the news. Yeah, I, I wish Dan was in on this. <laughs> Hang on a minute, I'm gonna, not now. We had him to help us. Let me uh, send him the room. I did already, actually. Go ahead and tell us what you know as of right now. Well, there's some new vehicles in front of CERN, parked next to that big blue one that I mentioned before. They look like uh, one, maybe two person uh, space capable transport, as near as we can tell. Uh, I can't get in uh, a, a good look at it because they break up when I go in close. Yeah. So they must have some kind of active shielding. You can you can see there's like a white haze beyond the shadow around all of them, but it looks like they got like four landing legs. Uh, it looks like those, you know, from Moonbase Alpha, the, those uh, what they call eagles landing craft in miniature is what they look like near as I can tell, and they're parked outside the CERN dome. <laughs> Just so you know, we're doing this live. It's actually May the 18th. It's roughly probably about 03.45 there right now. Um, in there, these are, Patty's getting them live from JPL, but we are shooting live footage. These on are, I mean, uh, JPL updates the data that goes to CERN, you know, from satellite revs uh, every two weeks or so. And these are newer. These weren't there, what, three days ago when we were down here looking at this? Yeah. We got Sergeant Daniel oh, Brad McMullen mean, with us. That means there's a new update in the in the photo file. And we got some new spacecraft parked there. Oh, that makes sense. They look like uh, little miniature Eagle Ones from uh, the Moonbase Alpha TV show. These look yeah. like miniature ones. Maybe two person, one or two person, operas. Does, does that craft look operable to you? Yes, I mean, there's two of them parked here. They weren't yeah, there know. They weren't there three days ago. Yeah, I know, but somebody smoked that that vessel. Does it look smoked to you? Does it look inoperative, the, the space? No, these, these two look intact. They look operable. What about the long blue one? That, that, it's got, uh, it's been it looks like two FEMA vehicles parked on the other side of it, possibly well, airlocked into it. Yeah, it's been smoked. Somebody smoked that. Come a little closer to your mic, Dan. I'm sorry. I can barely hear you. Yeah, somebody somebody smoked that vehicle last week. Rotate, yeah. Yeah, because these two vehicles weren't parked in front of it either. Those... No, no, it, it, it's it's been smoked. The interesting thing is when Patty moves in and out, we get two different pictures too. Yeah, if I try to go down ground level, none of these are there. So they're not in the they're not in the they've wiped the ground level cam so that they don't. I can't get a real crystal clear view of them. Right, but there, there are holes dripping out. There's holes. We, we've crowd. got another um, FEMA vehicle on the way in here. Yeah. For scale. Yeah. That's one of those big motorhomes. Yeah, but uh, somebody went inside there and, and, and scorched that entire vessel from front to rear. And Puppet Master went down at the same time. 
uh, well, yeah, at the same exact time. It was I smaller. can't. That's a, that's a that's writing on the side, and I can't, I can't yeah, make it out enough to mat to do a match on it. Right. If you do a, a zoom in, you see uh, pieces of it, metal missing, dripping down on the sidewalk. It's been smoked. Somebody smoked it, and Puppet Master. It, they were running pu Puppet Master out but, of this. I mean, that's not human script there. But I can't make it out clear enough to do a, a patent match on the script on the side of the craft. Right, but it th there's pieces laying in the parking lot there. But, but these aren't human. These are not human craft. Mm. Actually, I can't even identify those craft at all. Right. That and is starting to look like Jupiter ascending. <laughs> there's two craft there, and they're bigger than a bigger than the car here. Yeah, those this are for scale. Uh, do you have a time date on this? This, uh, well, that's, I mean, this is new as of two days ago, so this is the latest uh, Opus flight that uh, JPL did with the satellite. They, they airbrush all this stuff out and then send it over to Google. Yeah. But, but well, I get it before it, they airbrush it out. It was it was smoked, uh, let's see, today's what? What is today, Tuesday? This, this end here Wednesday. looks flagged. Is today Tuesday or not? Wednesday the 18th. It's the Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay, it was smoked on Saturday. This this vessel was smoked. On it looks Saturday. yeah. It looks like something is slagged here. Yeah, it it was it was smoked uh, three a.m. Saturday morning, the Eastern Daylight Time. And like I said, I saw the the damage out here the other day. See, there's a well, that's that's Blast when, holes. Yeah, that's when. Um, well, I couldn't get this good a picture before, but this was a new. Right. Like I said, this is a new. Right, Puppet yeah. Master was running at three a.m. Um, Saturday morning. This mm -hmm. last Saturday morning. Today is the eighteenth of May. Mm -hmm. at, um, at, can you explain? Nine, nine, this, look, this looks like a mangled big. This looks like a mangled uh, vehicle. FEMA, FEMA vehicle. Yeah, that happens Saturday morning at, think, at three a.m. Eastern daylight. I think yeah, explaining maybe Puppet Master might be a great thing for people. That to looks happen. like it's been crushed into the ground, <laughs> like uh, something landed on top of it, flattened it. Uh, Get thing yeah. right out. <laughs> yep. Well, it's been uh, it 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 was like fifty thousand degrees centigrade inside that vessel for like like ten seconds inside the blue vessel, and then Puppet Master dropped, and I recorded all the stats of of uh, the signal dropping off. I'm pretty sure it was zero three hundred. There's thing of molten slab here that looks. Uh, not all that different to the one that was out at uh, the Queens. Right. The, at the, uh, Denver. Denver International. Yeah. Something slagged right there in the in the parking lot, entrance to the parking lot. Well, uh, remember when you showed me this? You remember when we went online and you showed me this? Something else slagged here. Uh, as soon as we got off the uh, conversation, Six hours later is when this was done. Kind of looks like a Fort McMurray. <laughs> but I can verify that, yeah. you know, I have to go back and look and turn on Saturday. What is that sound? So it'd be, it's, it's, uh, that it's calm chatter. Um, Dan, can you explain Puppet Master for us that don't know what that means? Um, Puppet Master is a remote control um, program to run Oracle's uh, Golden Gate program. Um, and since CERN is unable to, uh, Puppet Master is, it, um, since most of the control systems and gauges and such are down, inside CERN control room, Puppet Master is a temporary, it's supposed to be a standoff 
remote control, which means a spacecraft can be anywhere and run anything and operate anything and tell exactly what's going on inside the CERN control building. Now, when we did CERN 1.0. Yeah, it's gone. So mm -hmm. we go down to the, the, the traffic cams and try and zoom in there. It's gone. It's not there. So they wiped the traffic cam. What do you mean? The vessel? The vessel was melted. No, I mean they, the, the traffic cam, the footage in the traffic cams has. Oh, oh, oh. Been, <laughs> yeah. been, uh, they don't show the. Yeah, they don't show the. They used to. I used to be able to get that too, but. <laughs> but it, it, it's it's like I say. Um, after we got off the conversation, we found out Puppet Master was right outside. Uh, this vessel was actually running Puppet Master, and when, uh, like about three a.m. in the morning on Saturday, May. May. But these are not human vehicles that are parked in front of it. No. They're not indigenous to this planet or any. I can't even. I can't even identify who owns those. Well, the thing I've never that seen it, anything it, shaped like that. It looks like uh, shadows. Um, the shadows cast. It. It. Uh, They're up on feet. You, off yeah, the it, ground. Yeah. But there's a bunch of them. It, there's two of them. It's two craft, and it looks like they each. They got four landing pads. Yeah, that's, and they park right, uh, right beside each other. And this was taken. What was this picture taken? It was in the past two days. So was this was there two days ago. Um, that would be the. Tw the. Well, let, let me let's look. 18, yeah, let's 16. Take. 16 May. Uh, it was probably taken on the 15th, and then uh, uploaded, cross-loaded to the system on the 16th. So it was so, taken on yeah. the 15th. Probably on the 15th, because it wasn't okay. there over the weekend. Well, on the 14th. It, it weren't over the weekend, and this was still intact. It did not have. So the, May 14th, it was Saturday. Yes, Saturday, early Saturday morning on the on the 14th. Because that's when it was. Um, that's when it was attacked. Yeah, that's what I mean. So. 15th, they did the new overflight, then it gets cross-loaded on the 16th, so yeah. Yeah, so it, I'm, I'm pretty sure because Puppet Master went down, and Puppet Master was being run out of this craft, and it had three um, collimators, and the collimators are no longer... Uh, those vehicles pulled alongside are, are driving on top of one of the collimators, uh, both of the collimators, because the collimators were, were big round bubbles, and they're now uh, molten metal. One of the things too, they've got the stadium there, and then also the amount of um, morgues, the mercs up there. There are more mercs? Well, after smoking the inside- Go look at the LHCB. After smoking inside, then when uh, HAL 9000 smoked. But HAL 9000 shows it's still running. I'll have to go into, we should go into the certain panels too, the security. I only have one red uh, warning light on HAL 9000's, uh, you know. Well, they got most of the LHCB fixed up. Only a little bit of uh, slag equipment left out on the ground too. They they actually you know, got it pretty well. They all the CB pretty much cleaned up. They dug it out. See, they that's slagged equipment there. Yeah. How, how can they do that in with all the? They, that's I mean they they've got construction crews working there like crazy. That's, that's the only vehicles I see running around there. Mostly is yeah. And that's seven construction miles. crews, and there's 45 percent of it was missing, according to CERN's own numbers. 45 percent of it was destroyed. So what did we estimate the population here to be? About roughly a quarter million, correct? Uh, 240,000 uh, minimum. No, no, well, I mean, the original was uh, 419,000. 
right but the, i'm i'm strictly talking between uh november 13th and mm -hmm. november 28th 240,000 people perished yeah um, that's that is, that's between oh perished you're saying perished yeah i mean they died. the original population was uh, 419,000 right but the the number uh, of dead reaching 240,000 was between the time period of friday November 13th and the 28th, when they finally got the fire under control, that was uh, in the uh, CMS and Atlas uh, quadruple antenna exploded. Well, they got the whole field back in. <laughs> that was over here. And look at all the, the, the scrap parts they pulled out. Yeah. That's not even half of it. That's not even. That's the CMS, so. Yeah. That wasn't a. That oh, wasn't oh, oh, just, uh, that's, that's just, just, um, just the CMS. The Atlas was the one that had the, uh, the real mess. Well, but, uh, yeah, because, no, actually, CMS is the one that contains a quadruple, right? The antenna, that uh, quadrupole yeah. an antenna, it, it blew up uh, on the 28th that finally, uh, um, exploded, sending beryllium everywhere, you know, because it was designed to handle tremendous amounts of heat. Beryllium is the only metal that can handle the high heat, high temp for long periods of time. And the Archon just ran it, ran it, ran it, and on the 28th it exploded, coating the inside and it melted through the magnets and down through the <laughs> and into the earth. That's, a, that's the last time we. And so. Hey, here's the the big ass hole in the ground where they had the exit, and they were using that to pull stuff out from underneath. Is the uh, FEMA field camp? Where was yeah. the where was it's in between the harps. That's the uh, northwest. Oh, 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 okay. That's the access hole. You got a harp here, harp here. Access hole underground. That's the can you, FEMA. Can you zoom That's in? the cap. Can you zoom in and see if uh, uh, what kind of uh, slag damage is on the antennas themselves? Because the verticals, uh, the the. Horizontal poles do not register any signal whatsoever. Only the only vertical antenna is working. The horizontal is, is dead. So that's that's a hor that's a dipole. The horizontal. Somebody's hey, giving a lot you? of feedback and noise. Yeah, can you mute your mic, Karen? I just noticed that. Yeah, I'll just do that now. So I have I have uh, no readings probably a long, long time on the on the the dipoles, and then the vertical is what they've been using lately, and uh, it's the only thing that's working, and it's overheated tremendously. So these are their verticals, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah, the vertical is the only thing that's actually operational um, for the last. Week A finally burned up the dipole, and so, and the verticals are running dangerously high, unless they're, I mean, using bronze, copper. But you can see, you these can. are those same CERN vehicle. I mean, the uh, yeah, they were FEMA, uh, FEMA, CDC camper vehicles and trailers. It hasn't altered that much in the last couple of months. No, and they're not going to get those dipoles back online because too much voltage went through them. And, it, and nobody's out there working on them. They would be people out there in mass tearing them apart unless they're doing it at night. But I've been doing readings twice a day. 
and uh, the verticals are the only thing working. And like I say, on the 14th of May is when the, the Puppet Master uh, spacecraft was incinerated. Orientated right here. So I can't then, find an atlas because I can't. The next oh, thing no. that happened was HAL 9000 was supposed to be incinerated, and it shows it's working. I, I don't know what to say past that. I only one red warning that showed up um, on the 14th on HAL 9000 uh, as far as the uh, there's only one red warning on the server room, and that's because uh, somebody burned up one of the cooling towers. Hmm. It was supposed to take down the whole thing. It did take down Puppet Master, but they were able to get it running, and I, I don't know how long it took. It wasn't until the next day that I did any recording because it was pretty much shut down for the, you know, I have to go back to check the stats, but I think it was 26 hours, something like that, before they had another signal. Yeah. And that's with no power. That's that's just running the beam at like um, 60 mega, mega electron volts. That's just to see if it works. You know, one of the interesting things too, Dan and Patty and uh, Andrew, is I was going back, it's called um, Truther News. Got it, WordPress, or actually truther.org. And it's actually something that I'm looking at here, but that's where uh, David Chase Taylor talks about his involvement and then covering all the CIA, you know, the underground headquarters and stuff underneath Lake Geneva and what they're also using it for there. I just went to go see that if there was anything there. Is it, um, he hasn't really looked like updated here possibly since September 17th, 2015. But if people wanted to, they can do some interesting Googling there. But what really is known to be what CERN is doing besides the, you know, Swiss and the banking and stuff like that and the octagon that uh, Dr. Sean House has been uncovering. And that's all over YouTube. Right. Or is it the uh, Adamus Defense Group you're speaking of? The CIA Adamus Defense Group? Yeah, there was one in there. I'll get to the um, link to that. I'm just going to check in here and see what I can find. Well, the chairman is uh, Veterans Today. The guy who what? runs Veterans Today, Gordon Duff, a.k.a. Gordon. Bob Footy. And right. Mike Harris, who is the vice chairman of uh, Adamus Defense Group, uh, CIA. And they, yeah, that was Gordon, wasn't it? It was a Duff? Gordon, Gordon Duff, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they actually, uh, it's recorded that the Adamus Defense Group, which. Uh, it now, put the underwater stuff, I got to have my Google Pro. I can't look underwater with this, this edition, the smaller edition. I have an actual thing here. It says updated Swiss murder alert, May 16, 2016. The Federal Intelligence Service is the Swiss FIS, evidently plotting a mass murder or murder stuff, possibly him. So there's some sort of an open letter here. Talks about ISIS and stuff too, and red alert, and da da da. There is something now I've got on here when I've gone to truth.org. Well, we definitely got terminal traffic now. That wasn't there last week. You said it takes two days, uh, two days to trickle down? Over to, over to, to Google, yeah. Oh, okay. From when JPL pulls it in from the satellite to get it over okay. to this is about a day, and then they clean it up before they post it to the public. Right, yeah, they're... Uh, redacting. But this is the unredacted down. Huh? Oh. That's why I get everything. Oh, I get it I directly see. from JPL. You it, yeah, you get it before it's uh, redacted. Yeah, before it's touched. Before it's uh, 
Photoshop. No, I mean, Airbrush. you see how big this place what is. Oh, there. That's a good shot. Whoa. There we go. It's the glass ceiling. There's all the coffins. There's the coffins. coffins. Um, can anybody do a screen capture? Oh, I've oh, got Andrew. it. Um, I'm going to do a go. wide one, and then I'll do a, a close-in one. Okay. Um, somebody's got to count all those bodies. Cause can you, you go close-in on that? Yeah, I'm going to get a wide one shot yeah. first. After you get yeah. there. We don't know if that's double stack or triple stack, um, but there's five bodies in each casket. I know every time I go past the Walmart now and I look at the pool liners and I went, <laughs> gaskets, pool liners. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Starting to, you know, <laughs> some days too much is too much. Okay, I'm trying to see what else I can find here and locate. And I did hear from Dr. Sean House, but he's not in Geneva. He's out camping in a tent. So I have had contact with him, so he's still alive. So maybe I can get a look from the edge. Ah, there we go. Uh, those are definitely... Um, That's a... This is as far in zoom I can go. Okay, so that's it rise up. that's a double stay. That's oh, a that's, double stay. It's blurry. I know, but I, so, I'm looking down at yeah. the uh, lower left hand corner where the shadow creeps. Yeah, that's why that's why I was trying to get an edge look at it. Mm -hmm. See if I that's could a, see how tall yeah, it double, is. It, it's a double stack. And they're just uh, <laughs> would you say that that is a car uh, a rated as a uh, Four feet, as as indicated down below in the left hand corner. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Hang on. Yeah. Yeah, they're about three and a half feet wide by roughly six feet long. Yeah, and that's a double three and a half by six, so that's five five bodies. That's, so that's five bodies in each double each stack. tub. Oh, okay, so and there's one tub on top and one tub down below correct that's what it looks like to me okay and then can you yeah back back out slow i'm i'm i'm, I'm gonna see if i can go over and grab one of the other edges here one of them in the middle maybe yeah that's definitely a double stack yeah the uh the, the look at the shadow it's a, it's a, yeah, I see it goes way, yeah, how far down in the building it goes. Yeah. The aisle way. Yes. Explain That's, again what we're looking at for the people that don't understand. This, we're look, we're this is where they had the car show. I'm going to, I know this roof, roof steps down on this end, so I'm going to go down here. I'm going to go here and I'm going to turn around, look through, and see if I can go down and get a view of standing on the roof. Straight ahead, standing on the roof. Interesting. I'm just what he's putting here out of that area about uh, May of 21st, but the Mayan calendar ends or Aztec on May the 21st. The arrival of planet will series. They're saying X and three days of darkness expected. Hmm. Reading this thing here. May 13th, David Chase Taylor. A out here. Up. He's looking for the blood moon and prophecy and all that. The opening of the uh, sixth seal, March the ninth. Oh, I got to I got to get back further. The long count, the Maya. Yeah, he talks too about. Remember, we're getting alignments of Jupiter, Mars, Mercury, Saturn, and Venus too. Retrograde status of five planets. This roof. Again, while you're zooming in there, what are the blue squares on the roof? Caskets. Caskets. Those big temporary tubs. Yeah. Those plastic ones that FEMA's fond of. There are five bodies each. 
the radioactive. Uh, I will get them. And they're double stacked. Each one of the blue squares is a double stack of 10 bodies total for each square that you see on the grid. So all we got to do now is go back and do still shots and somebody start counting by groups of 10. And that's not including what's inside down the basement. No, 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 down here. That's 2014. Let's see if I can go through and turn around. I never quite looked at it like this, but you start looking at the CERN ring and the LHC, and then you start looking at the Death Star. You're starting to see something. <laughs> Maybe indented or not, but it's starting to look like stuff. This is actually quite interesting stuff here on the conjunctions that he's put together. And that's not the rival of series and Planet X and everything else. In the wrong building. That's In awesome. God of Red Bull. It's like it doesn't want to let me get down on the roof here now. No. It, it throws me all the way over on the road. Because the last time I showed in, right inside the building, from the roof here, and captured it, they we down on. See, it's going all the way down the road. It's not letting me. Uh, yeah, I can't. I can't. We can do a, a you know, uh, stop the video, and somebody's going to have to count these bodies. Yeah, let's see if I can. And this is a two day. This is uh, on the 16th. This picture was taken on the 16th. Um, I need I need to go for a bit. I have an emergency. Okay, try to jump back in later if you can. Yes, yeah, I, I got the number here. I'll dial, dial back in as soon as. You need to go to number crunch. Okay. As soon as I got to deal with, it, uh, I'll be back. So the fifth world here, the black sun, fifth world, harmonic convergence time. May 21st, May 21st, 2016. After the Roman Empire is shut down in the cabal. <laughs> <laughs> I think that means peace is coming. That's what I'd interpret it as. Yeah. Here's our elders. Matreya and stuff like that. This is actually quite an interesting little site here. Yeah, David Chase Taylor, he's an American journalist. Basically, he's been trying to get um, almost like a um, political asylum he's been trying to get for quite some time that I've known him. He authored a book called The uh, Nuclear Bible. Hmm. Are you aware of him at all? No. What was that you were going to say, Patty? Trying to get down in between these so I can get a look at the stacks. It almost went down in once, but it's like, I know they built a picture of this. I've been down in there before. But it's like they're blocking me from getting the picture built. You got to remember this whole roof is glass. So you can see right down in it if as long as the sun's set, you know, beaming on it correctly. <laughs> the whole roof is glass. Okay, so let's do it. No, basically if we just do it well, not that they're exactly the same squares. This is worse than Flanders Field. Oh, 
keeps throwing me underground now. They've cut off my being able to stand on the roof and look inside. <laughs> Swiss in the CIA assassination thing CIA, the FIS. See, jumps down inside. As soon as I do that, it jumps it inside. Is. They don't want me looking in there no more. No. It's putting me down in the parking area, and that's 2014 anyway. That's old data. See, it, marks, it, it marks what, for me, what when the photo was, 2014, 2014. Well, that was interesting while it lasted. Doesn't want to let me stand on the roof. Let me try the other end of it, maybe. On this part of the roof. Actually, it's interesting. It's also, I'm just looking into the case here too, also about the uh, potential for. Uh, stage of terrorism attacks and the Turkish attacks are a national emergency for Switzerland by May 31st. Interesting how he's talking about the same sort of thing and the monetary thing. No. Staging the attacks in there. And the end game and stuff too. And referring to ISIS and stuff as well. Which is really a, was an original clan mother. You know, with the covenant of peace. Mm -hmm. really. Washed out. They washed it out. Yeah. See how they got. They. This is all smudged. He's actually put the same thing together with the November the thirteenth about. He's talking in here about the CIA headache headquarters and then the Paris attacks November the thirteenth Brussels on March twenty second Bohemian. Or sorry, bomberman or rest and stuff too in April. There was another apparently a, a Operation Three stage terror attacks in Switzerland that looks like it was reported on CNN too. Right? Islamic attacks now in Switzerland. <laughs> Has if the Swiss Attorney General's office is now actively criminal started proceeds to get thirty three individuals. Anti terror police in Geneva began searching for four Islamic terrorists. So and Syrian terrorists were arrested in Geneva. So there's a bunch of stuff that seems to be going on in here in the last little while. As yeah. at least cover story or cover story or alleged. What is that on? Um, truth or dot or someone I've been like, you know, as we've been, as I've been doing all my kind of like background and history and research to what's really going on and to the octagon into the history of NATO and the, well, intermonetary funds and all the hidden bank accounts that the Vatican's been using the Saskatoon trust fund. So remember it's based on selling the women and the DNA and blood. So, you know, another blood sacrifice again, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, that's what I'm looking at, just doing the background. Can't can look in there anymore. Yeah. Can't look in there anymore. Again, the, the money and the Turkish stuff, and then uh, tying into what's going on with the gold and some of these dragon families and stuff too. So Bitcoin, bit gold, I mean, all that stuff is interrelated, you know, to the Kasarian and stuff. Right. There's tons of stuff in here he's been doing. Yeah. Try something here. 
It's got some ties into Obama too. Well, 666 in the Switzerland and the very Toronto and stuff too. Hmm. Well, if you've even got half of this right, it's, it's darn interesting. I think it's well worth a peek for anyone. Truther.org. The one is um, truthernews.wordpress.com too. Yeah, it's tying a lot of that into. Starting to look like the, you know, a mini Patty Brassard and Eric <laughs> and Snowden. <laughs> mm. I'm surprised. We should see this on RT, Russian <laughs> news today. <laughs> um, what, um, did they, are those red, um, little uh, structures they added to cover up, like a morgue on uh, top of one building, the red? Are those still there? Yeah, they're still there. Hang on a minute. I'm trying to get a shot inside so I can show people what it looks like on that floor from the inside looking out. Otherwise, they're not going to understand what they're seeing looking down on it. Right. Yeah, so they're tagged. He's tying right into the FK Ultra and stuff, too. He's bringing to the awareness some people about enabling, like, enabling a human like uh, Barack Hussein Obama, as in being like a clone or drone, an android, biologically remote controlled, which is what we talked about, Puppet Master and CERN and stuff, too. But talking about the microchip, the AI, or like PPAI coming in with the brain chip and doing all the different things in here. And he's actually tying some interesting things into an Obama handler and psychologist, Lisa E. Jack. Very interesting stuff. Is, doesn't he, he, isn't he supposed to have like four clones? I, I've, I don't know myself. I Bit, but I've heard those things as well. You know, just like we were, you know, hearing like General Dunford's been taken over into the, you know, White House, right? right? For almost a couple months, and Obama's not even apparently living in the White House anymore, and in put situated in apartments. Okay. Right. I'm not down there. Can't tell you. Mm -hmm. I'm not at the front door knocking. <laughs> All hearsay, but it's interesting. Great point. Right. You know, it's the same thing. I think you know when Patty was doing this. It, you know, if you'd been on, or you could Google back to um, Captain Max Steele's show at Wolf Spirit about two weeks ago or whatever with um, Max in 5D. That should be archived up there in the live stuff that was coming out when Patty was revealing some more stuff. Uh, they removed it. <laughs> yeah. So the only way you're going to be able to look at uh, what inside of there looks like is going to be um, by looking at the last auto show they had there. I'll show what the they've removed it. <laughs> they've removed the convention center. Hmm. They're not showing, they no longer show the floor upstairs at all. So they removed the access. All the, all, they'll show down inside, but the, the top floor where they hold, hold all the shows and everything, mm -hmm. you have to watch the video, the car show. The last car show was done at the uh, Geneva Convention Center, and you can see the roof was all glass. So if it's all glass, how is there coffins on top? They're not. They're inside. That's what I mean. You're looking through the glass. Oh, okay, okay. I see what you're saying. This whole ceiling's glass. And you can see the the you know the aisleways. Down inside. 
where they don't have any cans. Very interesting. He thinks there's going to be something, uh, a plotting of a wave of different Turkish related stuff too coming up this week, in the next few days. Play a jack, hijack. You know, he's busy, or someone's busy here. Global attack of China, Iran, North Korea, Pakistan, Russia, and Saudi expected. I think it's very interesting that apparently Obama, the Pope, and Mihan Keshi all want to bug out to uh, Dubai. Yeah. <laughs> this is interesting. How convenient. They're trying to get asylum and like there's no diplomatic community for them on this planet. Yeah. Interesting. Chinese nuclear attack. And it's very interesting we're talking today too to so some of the different people about what was happening with the gold and stuff with China. And what just moved, there was like tons of gold. Right. Yeah, serene hands actually. And with um, oh, core Glencore. There's an awful lot of personnel there at CERN. What was that? There's an awful lot of personnel there at CERN. Look at all the cars. Yeah. Parking lot's filled. Well, I don't think we've ever seen that. <laughs> It's usually empty when we're looking. A lot of people are there. That's unusual. And to those vehicles here, too. And the service vehicles. Pull in some interesting stuff too. The Russian nuke attack on American maybe imminent too to launch the wave of the retaliation for activation of NATO's anti-ballistic missiles defense shield in Poland hmm. and Romania last week. Things are heating up. We're at 45 minutes. Poon won't do anything rash. No, he won't do anything rash. No. That's a, a lot of that's hype to keep people in the you know fear mode. Right. Praise God. Yeah. The uh, orange to run for the wrong place. Vision of Panama Papers. But yeah, there's the... Uh, uh, there. That's what we're looking for. People haven't seen the portable morgues. All the cyber attacks on the internet here too. There we go. It's done some interesting stuff here too about the um, the Bank for International Sediments, the BIS, B I S, in Basel, Switzerland, for the financial backbone of the CIA, funding the black ops. Yeah. With the six the central banks and the Federal Reserve Bank. Remember, everything was, um, they went to default. What was that, May 2nd? For the loans and stuff? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Not too far. Let's see if there's anything else that's funny. Mm -hmm. Uh, and possibly invading Canada. I th mm -hmm. Is that Operation Maple Resolve like Jade Helm? <laughs> <laughs> there, you can see the Quantit huts on the on the lower side right there. 
One, two, three. Mm-hmm. In the front on the right, correct? Yep. Yeah. Well, I do have to say he's concluding. They don't get any better than that, do they? See? Yeah. There we go. Excellent view. That's the concept. Absolute concept. concept. Arctic. And the, and the crane that put them up there. Yeah. Yeah. And we've been watching that. We've been posting that on and off with Facebook for like months now. So this isn't something we just made up. <laughs> We've been posting my them on my Facebook at Karen Ann McDonald. And you can, I had you can it see one right there. Yeah. Taking up above the roof there. You can see the edge of one there. See, maybe if I can back up here a little bit. One over in the corner. I can even see. Wow. The Russians invasion right of Canada. Via the Arctic. Nuclear attacks, possibly Montreal or Toronto. It's a great you thing they're it. really down east. Hmm. You see it up there? Yeah. Okay. Can't miss them. I can go down the road here and look back from the other direction too. Norway and Oslo. You know, I start thinking about some of these different areas, and we have to remember too what the radiation counts are. Um, as Patty so aptly and Kurt with extreme courtesy and spent so much diligent time and stuff putting out to the people. But the the radiation accounts as people knew from the UK or over in Europe, I mean, are beyond almost livable at this point. Right. So you, you factor this into what's happened there. If you go over and look at some of those maps, it's absolutely, they're all over off the charts. And I mean, I know from a biofeedback practitioner point of view, even people have been dealing with like Corpus Christi, Dallas, all different areas now are starting to report hair loss, even up here and on the West Coast. I've got a lot of clients with um, hair loss, eyebrow loss, um, all sorts of things. This is radiation illness that we're really dealing with here. It's not just chemtrail and Morgellons and smart dust and wireless. This is a cyber attack too that's affecting radiation for everyone. I've got so many people that, you know, lost some memory, you know. Everywhere, everywhere on the globe. Yeah. But more so I can see in some of the areas too, and um, also knowing like where the fracking is and stuff too. And just how even with the, you know, it was only about 600 kilometers away is Fort McMurray. It's just how that affected everything. But people need to remember that these areas were being funded. They're used as underground operations of black ops and alien bases that were you know, known within the intelligence communities to be doing not the fracking as alone, but just what the black sentient goo, um, housing of people for, again, against their will or for contracts that was done by the former ministers of defense um, for holding women and for, it's almost like Area 51 up here, you know, in mm -hmm. Dulcie and what they're doing between Southfield and, and what was happening at Fort McMurray. And, um, all the large weapons municipal where they were storing things right by Cold Lake. And that's within, you can see the heart brings quite consecutively what it was doing and the destruction of all the tribal lands that they've done. They fracked everything, they've destroyed all the lands, affected all the wildlife. I mean, all the people in those areas were contract workers as well. A lot of civil, civ um, civilians and stuff contracted to these areas above and below. So, I mean, it's not always what it, you know, people assume it to be. Right. You know? And um, I know with those, there are several different known bases, not just Suffield, which is American, Canadian, and British, all conveniently just north there mm. of Suffield, which is right by Medicine Hat. And if you look at that, there's numerous bases with known underground tons of, like underground transit tunnels that go into, you know, Denver and into Nelson and everything else. They've got an entire, you know, entire city and world underneath there that no one knows about that they're trafficking things back and forth. And as Patty knows, we've been looking at it for a couple of years. They've stolen virtually. Now this, not, now this is an older camera. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can see when they were first start putting it up, there's only one, yeah. Yeah. two, one, two. And eventually they covered this whole freaking roof with them. Keep talking. I gotta get some. 
that's the older shot when there was only two of them up there and they were gradually they gradually filled the whole roof with them you know it, it's interesting I was just doing some stuff with Rex Beer on the um, leak report and I just want to thank him for that too I mean we've had just been inundated with stuff with that too um, but there's a lot of stuff going out there. We've seen on BP Earthwatch, um, Gary Larrabee, um, and a few other people, Dabu, you know, suspicious observers. Everyone's coming in with different information, all sort of correlating to this kind of stuff too. So I think it's it's quite pertinent, the things coming in. And you got to remember what Canada or the United States or anything, those are, again, fictitious de facto bank accounts. You know, it's not a great day to be a Canadian or an American. You know, it, it, again, this is original tribal lands and stuff, you know, that belonged to the, the original tribes and had clans and had different people and nations here. That hasn't gone away. I'm going to pictures off that. Bell regards, Zagreb. This goes on in an hour. He's been busy. A little cooling fan on my poor laptop's going crazy. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the update on that. They're, they're working overtime on getting this thing put back together. Not that I think it's going to do them any good. Oh, they've got three rows there on that side now. Of those FEMA trucks. And I think basically, if people want to look up, they can look up what um, is being deployed and stuff there. What a portable. Morgue looks like military deployment or NATO. You know, or what's going on in there. That's really messed up. Imagine the amount of people in there, the cadavers, the bodies. I mean, at that kind of a massive death rate. I mean, they're just gonna be thrown together like mass graves. You know, trying to identify that kind of stuff too. I mean, you should see it. It's very high tech if you've seen the inside of them. They've got the slabs, they've got computers, they've got x-ray machines to do dental. They've got this all blocked off, so people can't get near it. Again, things you can quarantine off part of a city. I mean, I've known too, I was just telling earlier that I've seen where they've had different, you know, lockdown situations or they bring on, you know, 150 RCMP in or, you know, special deployment or tactical weapons and stuff. I mean, I saw that in Slocan Valley. I mean, they locked a place down for like a whole city basically for like five days no one went in and out which was the same thing as you know just about they had in ottawa <laughs> it's all kind of timing <laughs> yeah all right, let me go down there and show the. Does it show anything on the? And again, the the fountain went up is different than the water thing that's in the lake. By the way. Yeah, I put these up again. Um, 
what the HTP and stuff like was dying for. See, if you're in close, these windows here are fogged. That almost says guaranteed that's rats. It's what? Radiation. Radiation. If I if I scoot back a little bit, see how they go clear? Yeah. You can see the windows? I move in close, look what happens. Hmm. So that's common you're saying in a nuclear attack or different things when something's No, going. that's I mean there's there's bodies in there that have been exposed. Yeah. To radiation. What's kind of the nearest thing we could maybe see in the um, any kind of radiation count or anything we can see on the other different maps, like through NASA or eyes on Earth or something? And they're doing their absolute best to do this as a media blackout, total media yeah. blackout, everywhere. Oh, yeah. Locking down the airports and stuff for a while, for some, quite some time, you know, for phones or something. And again, this can be part of- what the hell is this vehicle? Yeah, it's a, looks like it goes on the railroad tracks. See in the back end there? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it can go on the railroad tracks if it wants to. Okay. All right. Sometimes what they refer to these as a Merc, a Mortuary Enhanced Remains Cooling System, is the acronym. Hmm. And it addresses the need for any kind of portable mass fatality. It's cold storage units. So you can see all the, you can see them all up there on the roof. Yeah. They also have what's called a, a TCS, which is a temporary cooling system which is a liquid cooling technology and specifically designed for cooling the bags to provide a total solution for a mass fatality response system. And they're capable of meeting the needs to provide cooling from one to 48 remain. All Merck systems are low maintenance, portable, and we can fully operational in less than 15 minutes. See what it is? These are, these are new train tracks. Here they closed over and removed the originals. Yeah, you can see them. And they've blocked this off. Back up. So we have that. There's also, um, just to let you know, a disaster portable morgue unit, a DPMU, which is also an equipped mobile morgue that supports specially trained teams to provide morgue support to mass fatalities. They include equipment for search and recovery, victim identification, DNA, Fingerprints, photography, and full body x rays, digital dental exams, and pathology. The victim identification services include using la the uh, latent laser pathology, orthodology, anthropology, and DNA methodologies to assist in body processing, preparation, and disposition. Put so somebody on a bicycle. Yeah. <clears throat> And this is stuff I started putting back out. Just, by the way, I'm looking back to my Skype. That's back into February 13th, by the way, when we put the first stuff when this started happening again. So we documented it not only very well in, obviously, um, November the 13th, 14th, that weekend. Yeah. Remember, this coincided with the Paris right. false flag attack. Planned false flag. Planned false flag. And then by February, we were already seeing biohazards and stuff going on, which I put up on Facebook, too. There was a black van there for a minute. But these are the, uh, the 
other vehicles we were talking about. This ties into a lot of stuff too. So it's not just CERN, it's like here where they had the LHC again, University of Saskatchewan, um, Karen Rianne's out of New Zealand. I mean, there's so many, like hundreds of these miniature sites floating all over. And you start combining that, like we've got a slow poke underneath Saskatoon and all these like circle drives just happen to coincide with roughly the same circumference as like a CERN. Right. You know, these were brief being pre-planned a long time ago, even the stuff they did in the circle, you know, in upper capitals, you know, this is Asian Pacific and the province of Saskatchewan, you know, I mean, all sorts of things have been, you start connecting the dots after a while here. You know, if you tie that into it, like using the water and stuff here and the black sentient goo and different things that they're doing, you know, treating the water, they're not supposed to be treating the water with anything. And fluoridating, these people in these areas, by the way, for the most part, when you look at the areas that are having LHCs or totems and stuff like that in, in Ottawa and Saskatoon, those are actually the cities I've noticed as well are fluoridated. So, I mean, how much mind control can that possibly be? Right. <laughs> and this is a little, meters. This is a little fork truck for picking up those caskets. And it's got a wash down assembly in the back. And this is just big enough to put one of those those totes, body totes. So this is how they're moving them into the parking structure. You got a little mini fork truck and you want to Bet that van's got one in it. Notice how they paint out all the windows and the doors? So you can't see what's in it? This is the case if it looks like a duck, sounds like a duck, walks like a duck, or waddles like a duck, it could be a duck. Hmm. It might be a duck. It might be a duck. Can't get his plate. <laughs> He's trying to get his plate. So this will be interesting because actually tomorrow, um, if we get this up quick enough, but tomorrow we're going to be on Revolution Radio at Ground Control with Keith Roberts and Major Tom. So I, I'm all excited to see what's going to happen tomorrow at midnight Eastern. <laughs> yeah. We have a couple different radio shows pre-booked and stuff here. So again, this is why it's really important when people go to um, Project and Sensor, and like I said, with the leak project and other things we've done too at the Healing Circle Network. But with what we've done with you, Andrew, is really pivotal because really what we're giving you is the solutions to the pollution and not just on radiation, but this is how people can start feeling a little bit better, or at least being able. I zoom in. I zoom in here, and you see the cars. Look yeah. at the date. This is it changes back to two thousand nine. Wow. Yeah. This is so common, Andrew. Like when we were going over, and I, I mean we've seen it so many times. But you can go over when I was looking at our place there at Cypress Hills. You can go at, on it actually a grid road. And it's so photoshopped. One side of the road is 2003, the other one's like 2006, and other section is 2011. It's like patch, like a patch quilt. Yeah. Right. Because it's so photoshopped and redacted, they didn't want us seeing what was going on. And it wasn't until Patty brought in the stuff too, and we could get to JPL and get lifetime, we could actually see what was going on, and you know, digging the dams and, and clear cutting and putting the cattle up and and stealing the water and fracking everything around there and detonations, gosh knows what else was going, you know. This is, you know, horrifying, you know, and when I went to go inquire about it, I was told, don't bother us, you know, unless you have written permission to like, you know, after we're done the harvest and they weren't doing any like grain up there, I'll tell you. <laughs> yeah. You know. I go back to the new stuff. You see any cars? No. 
that too. Yeah. This is the same thing why a lot of people, like, you know, they think we're looking at LASCO, you know, C2 and C3 or the satellite images, and then Patty would get them in live shot, and then we'd find out they were looping the tape from probably two, three years ago. So everyone in the public sector thinks they're, like, watching something and, and reporting things, but, you know, <laughs> it was from out of date. It was, like, three years before that, you know. And, and you can see how people can get caught up watching because they want to get involved and do stuff, but, again, they don't have the security clearance. They did not develop these systems as Patty did and left, Pat, you know, a back door. In. <clears throat> did you have any remaining information, Patty or Karen? Because we're at hour and nine minutes. I was just going to see if I can go live, but. All right. What I was going to add is that people need to stay calm and keep their heads about them, so to speak. This is higher chakra stuff, literally. Um, the best things people could do is go back and review what we're talking about. And we talked about, one, getting alkalized, using baking soda and molasses one-to-one. -one. It's kind of like the cancer cure. You can Google that on YouTube. Using a lot of the different essential oils to raise your frequency and vibration. Because a lot of this affects people even more so in um, lower vibrations or lower chakras or physical problems because they're in survival rather than thriving. Right. So using the essential oils is really imperative. That's why one of my favorite ones is actually called Peace and Calming from Young Living. Using the technology that we have in behind here, like the skill biofeedback or indigo or act doctor or something. And if people have questions or want to learn more about this, they can certainly get a hold of me at clan mother 13. That's with a K at Gmail. Um, or look at what Patty and we have done. We've got radiation graphic room. And what else did you put together, Patty? Evolution of the human race. Yeah. Uh, I still got uh, the Fukushima uh, oh, right. one room too. That's still there. That's the only one that's uh, survived. Yeah. You gotta remember, we put together like three, four years of information and it was all gone and wiped out <laughs> in one day on all of us. So again, this is where people have got to do their own research, but Using that, and I'm very big with people, again, I don't say I'm a colon hydrotherapist, I'm a decolon hydrotherapist, soul therapist. Yeah. This is affecting your soul. This is the waters and getting to the spring waters because it helps levitate. It's below the radiation level, all the ground. I'm so saddened to see people planting gardens all over. I appreciate the ideas of community gardens, but all the soil is contaminated to the first 13 feet or so, if not longer. So you need to go and get heirloom seeds. And I mean, I'm just anxiously awaiting my, um, actually excitingly awaiting my, you know, indoor grow tower, the tower garden with grow lights, because if something happens, at least I can control what's in my environment here to some degree. Right. And um, doing some wonderful things. I know there's been some great people up at, um, I've met at, at Silk, like Boyd Anderson and Scott up there. And things that people do to educate, you know, to, again, cleanse and to detox and using different, you know, natural I systems. I want people to hear that. Watch, watch for a second. That matches exactly what's in my head all the time. Say it again now? Mm-hmm. Hear this? No, the, your uh, gray screen. No, he, listen. Listen. It's the frequency. Audio. Karen, Karen, mute your mic for a minute. Absolutely. I can hear it. That's Gaia's frequency. Huh? That's what the frequency, Schumann frequency sounds like. Mm -hmm. What is that from? I feel that's, you're seeing. That's the Schumann frequency. That's what it sounds like. The mother's heartbeat. That's what we call the ringing cedars of Russia. It's a, it's a certain frequency or it's a tone. It's a ringing that we hear that we are in tune or atoned. That's what time is. We're, we're children of time. That's what I hear in my head all the time. Mm-hmm. What do you have blocking the screen? It's like just a gray screen. 
We have no screen share. Oh, oh. Man. So you can go to we'll like. Resume. Oh, there we go. You say if you go to screen. Go to uh, Shulman Residency. That's what we do. We measure that on the scale biofeedback that I do with people with, on Skype to get them healthy again. But you're using Rife Radionics. We're measuring the resonance and like the Shulman frequency. And very close like when you're doing stuff like with pH and stuff. Things are shifting. It's changing and you can see stuff like that at Heart Math Institute. You can actually measure the co coherency or almost like the chakra colors of people and where the most you know, in, I'm going to say aware people are, things like that. It's like the curling photography or, or chakra scans like we do. With people, you can actually do in areas. That's right. what the body does. Now, this next graph that I'm going to show you is the power of it. And the more people we have together mm -hmm. in these areas, the stronger the power output. And that's funny because it was one of the um, kind of elders that brought with Cree nations that said, got to get the bear clan mother here and you got to get ready, got to get ready. It's you're the lead of the tribes because it's part of the prophecy in the end the blue Kachina right now. And the more people we have that are empowered again, we need to get them decolonized through enemas and colonics and getting healthy and using the stuff like whether it's young living or different kinds. I have lots of information available. People can contact me right away. There's no lack on Facebook, you know, Karen McDonald or that well, kind of thing. We've made many videos on Project Ascension also, if they need even more information on all the subjects. Yeah. Clean out. You want to feel great? Clean out your your place. Right into a little sacred space of love there. I showed you how to declutter and, and what the substitutes are. This is about firing up the grid. So we're, we're firing up the grid, but we got to put a new one to place with the people. And when you're cleaned out and alkaline, you are much more intuitive. Mm -hmm. Can go inside for answers, not asking people, you know, mm. for, for everything. Yeah. This is about self. That's what self mastery made at pieces. And that's the other thing too, is the Salmaic at soccerbit.com. So they have Salta Pastillier, Salta Mata, and Turkish Flaska. But this is the Pastillier that you can have. And um, you know, using salt water and Soleil, whether it's Hawaiian with activated charcoal, stuff like that. Start cleansing and detox because then you'd actually look forward to these days with peace. And like I say, even just the stuff here, like getting some Himalayan salt and baking soda and borax and stuff and putting that in your water. Drinking, you know, a teaspoon of each every day, once or twice. Right. Simple things. Simple things. You know, frankincense and myrrh and cedar wood and fir and all sorts of great essential oils that we have. You know, find a spring.com. There's, there's no lack of information out there. And Patty's been so courteous and so patient with people. And we're so appreciative of Patty's time. And Sergeant Jenna McBillan and all the other people that have come together in the truth or community and all the special forces that have come together to do this. There's a lot of great men and women that are here to help. And we're going into an emergency situation as well. As Patty has been able to show that the Madrid fault line is not exactly splitting where they thought it was going to be on the Navy maps or Scallions maps. Mm. And there's some people who are going to have to look at relocating very quick. So we are going into a global emergency and also with what's going on with the Star Wars here. We've got ETs trying to clear out draconian and alien bases, including the, you know, ha you know, hybrids and and cyborgs and clones and all sorts of things that's happened. So it's the vibe of the tribe. Right. And if possible, go to findaspring.com and get spring water don't get the bottled water you buy at the big box stores because there's zero regulation on bottled water oh. it's a regular tap water it didn't call it spring water or mountain water or, you know mm -hmm. fluoride added to it and stuff. so just continue stockpiling the water spring water not bottled crap water 
Yeah, I'm getting a generator, and Patty's put out the plans how people could retrofit and add on to existing, you know, generators. So they better look at getting generators and, you know, getting things ready. Food storage, I've got all my powdered foods from Bulk Barn and Herbs and Health and Twigs and Squirrels up here. You know, so very grateful to those people. we got goji berries stocked and hemp seeds and whatever. I'm great for a month or two or three. Great. And with a bug out kit, so if we had to, we can evac out right away. And I'm taking the rock of cow and chocolate with me. I will let you know that. Even though I've been, like, fasting on and off. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at some of the uh, links that I had in here on the laptop, which I haven't used for a while. Most of them don't, don't work. It's pretty sad. They've been uh, killing sites. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, I think this could be really exciting. If we didn't have like fluoride in Saskatoon, I'd go jump into one of those hot tubs and, and soak, I tell you. <laughs> Meet us in Saskatoon at the hot tub thing. <laughs> I find some geothermal up here. <laughs> I'm missing my mountains, I gotta tell you. I'm trying to open NASA's eyes right now to see if I can get a, a look down over there with. Uh, with them, but uh, taking forever. And this this machine isn't powerful enough to do my my other live satellite. I got to have the main machine up for that. The other thing I'd really recommend people is to go look at Patty Elversard if they're on Facebook. You can actually see the um, lab maps up there, which are really really important. People can see where there's lava underneath their feet. They may not be aware of too. Right. It's huge. It's such a huge thing. You know. Close out of Kuku. Yeah. Just get everything into preparation time. So. And you know what, Andrew? That's how we live in the mountains anyway. <laughs> when you're off the grid. This doesn't really alter any way that we do. We still garden indoors. We still sprout. <laughs> we still have wood stoves. <laughs> right. It's not really any that different. I still compost. <laughs> and we're unplugged, you know? It's time for a little meditation and yogi time. Yogini. <laughs> Is that coming up, Penny, or no? Yeah, I'm getting a, a swirling blue circle. <laughs> yeah, it was interesting. A lot of this stuff was being put out on to by Rex Bear of the leak report also at um, before it snews. It's interesting. Oh, well, I'm glad, you know, our friends are stuff to like the homes, like Samantha and Charles and all those guys at uh, Planet Hemp right now. Mm. <laughs> Better be wearing all that hemp clothing right now, not synthetics. Right. <laughs> it's all going to be part and parcel. So we're seeing so many people itching it with the Morgellons and the black chemtrails and stuff too. And the smartness, a lot of people. All right, it's starting to open now. And that's why it's really important if people have a chance to look at something, what we're looking at, or they want to be involved in the project we're doing. It's what they call Cypress Seals of Canada on Facebook. Patty's got the most incredible things, and people have to know that you just can't build an eco-village. This will be radio-proof, or sorry, radioactive proof. Yeah, it's radiation-proof and um, UV-proof. And, and UV is almost more important now even than the radiation because the UBC, which is at four and climbing, uh, that shit can kill you. I mean, it doesn't wait to give you cancer like the radiation does. UBC can just burn you to a crisp where you stand.
Well, people are getting prepped. 4D, 5D, 6D, 7th. Depends where you're supposed to be. We call lighting the fires. It's prophecy time. It's all to be revealed. <laughs> all part of the secret space program. Responding. Come on. Double launch. When you do that, you're Next to your name, the bars are red. Um, went to the eyes and soul system instead of uh, eyes on earth. I don't want this. I wanted eyes on earth. Launch it because it went to the wrong one. I must have gotten too impatient, double clicked, and it launched <laughs> both, and then I closed the wrong one. <laughs> oh, Andrew, I just found that too. You just have to look at another door. Just to show you too. That's the pastille, salta pastille. This is the Turkish flaska. Kind of looks like a root beer bottle. Yeah, I like those. <laughs> Daddy does. He said, hold on, I got some gifts coming for you. And um, this is the salta masta. This is more like that gummy kind of as people do licorice, but this one's kind of crumbly, and this one's like a long sock with it. So. Yeah, I like the hockey puck one. The first one you showed, that, um... Pastille. Explain you got to remember, the, the salt, or S-A-L, is like your soul, S-O-L. Okay? Like the soul transit system. I don't use the word sun. I'm Actually, I'm looking at the moon right now. It's, it's quite pivotal it's coming through here. But um, that's what we're talking about. Yeah. Explain a little bit. What the psalm salmon egg does to people that haven't heard that yet? Turns uh, poles of you that hold the strands of your DNA to positive. To what? To a positive charge instead of a negative. When you try to go three poles, it uh, they go triple negative and push each other apart. So you need that to um, get it to go positive. Do this full screen. I got it open. Do the share. Why is it going off the left screen here? Oh, just in case, Andrew, that's how the cell mag. It's like Elf from Cell Mac. Yeah. Which I'm going to add, by the way, extra to the power garden that we're bringing in here. So it's five gallons of spring water we'll get. With the grow lights and stuff too, LEDs. We'll get off the LED thing at Lofty Light and do some stuff maybe with Boyd Anderson up there too. Full spectrum. Mm hmm Probably get some extra lighting that Boyd's got. You got my screen share yet? Yes. Absolutely. Perfect. Down. Uh, this is a 2D edition. 
this is where I wanted to show you. You see, right here, the yeah. it changes, Karen. This ties into why they had those reports out there. Right. Decreased gravity. And that's right there in the yellow in the center, right? Yeah, the yellow and red are, are red is minus 25, uh, orange is minus 16. Yellow is minus eight. If you think about the chakra colors, think about your chakra colors, like your aura. That's the aura, the chakra colors of the planet. And purple is plus 25. In other words, you know, that's um, centimeters of equivalent of water. In other words, much like you can test gas pressure in a pipe by filling a pipe with water, and when you plug it in, if it pushes three inches, then you know, that's what you set natural gas pressure in a, in a manifold to work on a stove coming out. You want three inches water column. That's extra pressure. You know what I mean? This is how they judge this. Inches water column. This is centimeters of equivalent water. So um, here it would actually pull the water down. If you filled a glass with water, it would drop between the green zone in the purple zone, 25 centimeters. That's how much heavier your gravity is there. So you weigh more there. Yeah. Then you weigh, and then you're the red zone. Red zones, you weigh less. And you can go three dimensional with it, which is re sort of reversed. Um, let it update. The, I don't know why they do this. It's reversed. The red is up, and the and the is is less gravity, and the the purple is is more gravity. But look at look at the north part of South America. Trying to get terms too. Same thing. That gravity is way up there. Well, and where people are supposed to be. Australia. No yeah, pH, yeah. That's what you're looking at, kind of. Europe, Europe's uh, gravity is real low, too. That's, that's, the green is up around Finland and whatnot, and this is up here is Russia. look at it the, uh, what, what's coming up ground wise over the hmm. now this is salinity this is the for I'll do this first because uh, let download the data because this will show you just how bad off the oceans are And that's the same thing. People now, the orange it. is salt. And this is a, it's, it's coming out the Gulf. Look at the Pacific. Wow. You got a couple of bands with salt in it. That's about it. It's trash. And purple is zero. Purple is no salt at all. And know what happens when you do that, you have bacteria goes nuts, starts eating things. But as you can see, it's all uh, radioactive content. It's all, it, it, you know. And people that aren't grounded or earthed in that way. And that's 2015. What they do? What are the latest? No. What they do? They wiped it out. Oh my God. They wiped out the dates. They wiped 216 off the map. 
Yep. They wiped out 216 entirely. How far can we go? 215. That's it. They've wiped it. They've wiped the database. That's of June 215. 2015, rather. They've wiped the database. That's all right. I've got those saved already. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we do what we do. <laughs> Just in case. Collecting mm. the data, the evidence. Until the council has a field day with this. Eh? So if, if this is old data sets. Just wait till our report comes into the council. <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're wiping down. Into the third. Love being the 13th. Water and ice. I'm doing water and ice that's going to the grace. So, yeah, it's not even. Uh... You know, also what was alarming is Patty and I were looking at actually the north and the south pole a couple days ago. And there's like virtually no ice. There's just tiny little specks of snow you could see from the top. Right. And look at this, May 17th, database is blank. Database is blank. No and data. How, how many satellites and stuff you say have been even wiped out in the last few months? Just Patty's going to go for something to get data and it's been gone. It's just shut down. No pointless. There's no uh, there's no data on it. And a lot of people are really concerned about the um, the magnetic sphere and the magnetic shield of the planet. But Patty, again, said, look at we do have one here, actually. We have it being <laughs> gifted by a few escorts. Yeah, I'll have machines. the other machine back up, which lets me just pick out satellite I want. But, yeah, I mean, even the, the selection screen for satellites, um, hundreds of satellites have just been shut down completely. Oh, got to cover up that info. Yeah. But, you know, as, as we say, we're winning. There's like, what, close to 400 battle planets here right now escorting on the planet. 397, that was... I'm not sure you count it. <laughs> you said 397. I just said close to four. <laughs> but we thank someone for taking the time to, like, do that. Kind of sit there and count them, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And this is confirmed by, like, six observatories around the planet that are not part of the New World Order. That's why I'm saying, Andrew, you can never have enough peace and calming right now. <laughs> Zoned it off and cooperated in counting them all. <laughs> it's not easy because they're always moving around. Right. We're at uh, one hour 38. Okay. We'll call it. All right, because... Yeah, I think too. If anyone wants to get a hold again, Patty. Huh? Oh, if anybody wants to get a hold of me, mm -hmm. easiest way is to email me. P a t t i e b, as in boy dash f i n e at Comcast on that, or Patty Albrasard at Facebook. Awesome. We want to thank you, Andrew, and all the viewers and stuff that you've got at Project Incension. Mm. It's phenomenal. There's a lot of people like Gary Larrabee and other people I've seen picking it up now and uh, because of some of the stuff you've put forward. So it's a pivotal, saving lots and lots of lives this way. But thank you. It's a uh, shame, and those people will be in our prayers yeah, absolutely. And um, I think this is really important. So I know as a natural practitioner and nurse and everything else um, and doing shamanic stuff, this is really important. This is a time of, you know, great meditation and prayer, but um, just having faith. And we're going into times of peace. So. Yeah, so we need to get everybody together yeah. uh, globally, Everyone. shut all these cyclotrons down. Right. Yeah. All of them. Yeah. You have to fire up the grid and shut it down. Especially the one in uh, in uh, New York. Or Cabin. Or Cabin.
Excellent information. Did you give your uh, email and stuff, Karen, also? No, yes, once before, but we'll do it again. Yeah, do it again. Okay. Um, the information to get a hold of me is at clanmother13 at gmail.com. Uh, so it's okay. And uh, Facebook, Karen McDonald. There's two of them, but please go to the Karen McDonald one if you can find it. And there's a Karen Ann Lusick McDonald, which is a bit of a fan page as well that's been started up because I've got so many things now just to keep up with people. So, yeah, I appreciate that. We'll be doing some fun stuff this week coming up and actually how to do raw chocolates and stuff like that because we want people to feel happy and excited and grounded and using stuff, let's say, like the serotonin, um, things that we can have and all that. So we're doing raw chocolate recipes and lots of fun things in the kitchen and um, how to clean up. Remember, things that clean out on the outside, you clean out on the inside too. Yeah. So, and I think we're going to do a fun one with some colon hydrotherapy and the Woods Method to the big ones, to home enemas too. Just Again, it's cleansing. That's what you're seeing on the on the earth happening now. Right. That's the mother. It's all the mother's slams coming back. You know? Excellent information. You can catch Project Extension, <laughs> excuse me, Extension, YouTube, Google Plus, Twitter. Yeah. Oh, I was just going to say too, a lot of people are asking, I'm getting lots of things about the tribal laws and what we're talking about exactly, tribes, DNA, that kind of thing. Very imperative people know their blood type, your RH, RH, and their factor, because tribal's RH positive, and any manipulation or DNA or alien stuff or cloning and stuff could be RH negative. Um, also, yeah. there's a lot of codes that come after that. Yes, look up rare I blood types. Get your hands on it, but uh, because basically the New World Order is, is ordered hospitals not to give you the data anymore. Yeah, actually, and you know what? I um, just had two of my people actually go to go get their doctor's tests or PSAs or whatever they were doing for their blood work, and they both asked for typing and stuff. And the, the doctor said to one of the guys today, you don't need that woo-woo stuff. And yeah. he said, this is the blood type and factor in an MD in Saskatoon said, woo-woo stuff? <laughs> I had to share that with you because oh. I'm getting mauled. But also I've got people that are getting their swabs for the MT, mitochondrial DNA. Very important to know your haploids and trace your mitochondrial, your mother's line. So-and-so begat so-and-so begat so-and-so. Genesis, the beginnings, is the genes of Isis. So there's that. And for people to look up actually a little bit if you don't know what that is. Um, what we have, it's called Tribal Laws, Meredith Quinn. And his great-grandmother or grandmother was uh, Agnes Strykett. She was the clan mother for the Dakotas. There were witnesses to all these covenants slash treaties and all your obelisks and all that kind of stuff. And you might have to search for a, for it for a while because they tend to mm -hmm. keep removing it. And, you know, it's yeah. tribal people who keep putting it back out there, but yeah. uh, it, the, the site jumps a lot. And Patty's a, a great grandchild of yeah. Patty's a great grandchild of one of the Micmac clan mothers as well. Just like I am one of the last ones as well for the thirteenth, and um, with Marn. So. Uh, that's well, really I'm, important. I'm a Micmac on my mother's side. I'm the great <sighs> granddaughter of the Fern mother, clan mother, who's from France. Mm -hmm. And so, just to let you know, the Red Tribes may have called it peace pipes. We've all heard of the peace pipe, smoking the pipe. <laughs> mm. <laughs> and the Wampa Belt, uh, we've heard sometimes of Kings of Authority. The Asians called it the Palladian of Troy. And all the Arabs, Blacks, and Israelites all called it Solomon Seal. So the rest of us, all the angels, i.e. Anglo, Saxons, Mercius, Northumbria, and all the tribes of Cleopatra, all those clan mothers, they called it the Eye of Isis, the Camel's Eye, the Eagle's Bull, Noah's Ark. That's our covenant of peace. <laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe, peace be with you. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Blessings of peace. Thanks for your kindness and understanding. So we're coming into the times where we are going to be starting to do gifting, love gifting without commercing and trusting and getting rid of the bank accounts and stuff and just having fun. We're all going on vacation. Yeah. <laughs> so you speak in truth and have fun and do it freely. <laughs> yeah. right. so thank you, Sergeant yeah. Daniel Brad McMillan. I just saw his back. Yeah, that's the uh, love, Dan. My great-great-grandmother on my dad's side, that's, that was hers. 
once she got married. Uh, she lost all her children in the Halifax disaster, and she married into the Broussard blood, bloodline. Her her previous lineage was uh, they called was uh, Vaugeur. She was the fern mother from France. She got round out of France. Uh, most of the tribes that were over there died, either were killed or, or left, basically. And we're glad Dan's back with us. I'm sure Dan's got lots to add. <laughs> Dan, you're on mute. You're muted. I know. <laughs> I uh, does anybody have a, um, a body count or able to count the double stacks on the not um, yet. Station. No, Patty couldn't get zoomed in. There is that, so. Well, we can stop the video and actually count the rows and then. Maybe we should just to give an idea. No, we have to because it's like, you know. Okay, let's do that. We, we know there's 240,000 in the parking lot. Now we need to know if it's at, at the uh, Expo Center. Yeah, we can pause this, right, Andrew? No, because once you pause. No. no. It stops the tape, and you have to start another one. There's, yeah. Okay. Well, I, well we I could just, stop this and do a part two. No. No. Well, yeah. I'll, I'll just. I just need to find out what the total because we figured two forty. If someone's got a calculator, Patty could go roughly. I mean, we can see roughly. It's just on the outside; they're not even rows. I looked at the outside perimeters are larger than the inside. But we could do probably a guesstimate. It was. I counted ten by something. The squares, the big square. Yeah, well, the squares are 10 by 10, so 10 by 10 by 10 bodies is. <coughs> is 10,000 people per square. This is worse than Flanders Field. <sighs> yeah. is, is that right, Patty? And is that correct? Um, 10 times 10 is 100. 100 times 10 is 1,000? Uh, yeah. Okay, it's 1,000, not 10,000. Doesn't make me feel any better. <clears throat> no. no, it doesn't. I mean, we, well, I mean, just taking an aerial look around, you're lucky if you're going to come up with, what, four or 5,000? Counting all the vehicles and, and people in that whole zone is all I'm seeing. Tops. And there's supposed to be 419,000 people there. And that, and that does, I mean, there are people that were, you know, when the steam, superheated steam came out on the 14th right. uh, at dawn, when we started uh, taking captures. Yeah, they were they were climbing on buses and I mean they, they ran out of their places with the suitcases in hand a bunch of even just dropped the suitcases they wouldn't even let them take the suitcases on the bus right they just back them get, out get them on and get them out because the place went up what was it 20 degrees centigrade in less than an hour the entire city went up yeah. I, mean, I can't I can't remember I'm usually pretty good at remembering, but that's why these nuclear things have to be stopped. You know, and the headquarters here of like Cameco and all this. I mean, this is the causes of you know the cancer, everything. Again, lack of education. Yeah. Well, the Archons and Dracos got angry because we blew it up and ran it into the ground until it killed as many people as they could kill. Well, uh, we didn't I mean, do it. All we I mean, did run is we destroyed the machine. Running these oh, cyclotrons creates radioactive content too. Exactly. I'm sitting with them right here. Yeah, I mean, all we wanted to do was stop the machine. Some 1.0. That's all we did was we we destroyed the machine and it quit running and it shut down. And when they put it back online, uh, nobody in CERN put it back online. This was all done via Puppet Master. Puppet Remote. Master kicked in. And the Archon Dracos went crazy and they ran it up and the coolant failed and it started cutting. And uh, when it started cutting, it started cutting uh, down past Alice, down at IP2, where um, if, she, 
Number 85, the coolant system 85 failed. And I started cutting the line there and it just kept cutting and cutting and it's cutting and it's cutting and it's cutting. And in the end, and three whole coolant systems were offline. Yeah, well, and most it, of, you know, more than half the collimators on both systems. 45% okay. of, of it died. There were two explosions and um, the beam jumped uh, from one area where the explosion hit, knocked it, the beam into another section, missing about maybe a, a quarter of a mile section. And then it ran, the beam ran into the coolant lines and the coolant began to escape and it's cutting at a fast rate of speed. It's cutting through the earth and it's cutting through pipes, lines, uh, liquid nitrogen, and when the the uh, second explosion happened, it was within probably another four miles from the initial explosion. Then, as it's cutting through the somehow the nitrogen re oxygen rate uh, reaches critical uh, proper mix and it exploded the second time, which is a larger explosion. And then it came all the way around and cut into Alice and um, cut through Alice and cut a 25 foot by 12 inch. No, no, that, that's not Alice. It, it skipped Alice, came through, burned its way back in, one more explosion, minor explosion. <laughs> then it found its way into the CMS collision chamber where it cut a 25 foot long by 12, on one end, foot uh, tall, like 15 foot tall on the other end, began to melt everything. The magnets began to pour through the floor, through the magnets, it melted the magnets through the floor. Air came up and started this uh, um, situation where it would breathe air, it would flash up inside the, the collision chamber and then what would happen because it had already cut holes in the wall on the back side of the CMS, that area got oxygen and it flared up. And when the oxygen died out of there, it would suck air in back into the collision chamber. And then it would, um, it would, uh, and it went back and forth for, from the 14th to the 28th and they never got the fire out until they got the uh, 66 amps, 66,000 amps disconnected. And I want, I want people to see this. You see the dark blue, 400, it's radiation. Yes, yes, sir. Thanks. 400 plus before it just goes offline. And I mean, mostly, mostly Europe is a mess. I mean, all of them are showing at least green, and green is two hundred. Yeah. Light blue is three hundred, and the dark blue is four hundred. There's some purples over here. Those are are over over four hundred. They they don't even measure them. You have to click on them, and. Uh, you know, open up an individual window. And we're seeing other things too in other areas too. Don't we've seen this. we've seen some over nine million. That's the, on the video we did. Probably, probably yeah. Mhm. Mm what was that? Like a year and a half ago? No, that was almost yeah. A year and, and you a can half. see these are these are these high readings are not where nuclear plants are. That one is. That one's uh, spewing this, this right on top. All, this is all CERN. CERN but that's related. not a new, that's, these are not, this is upwind and downwind of CERN. Yeah, and, and the wind, uh, the weather was, uh, it's midwinter in November. All started on the 13th when we went in to shut it down. And our intention was to shut it down. And when we did, we were very clever in shutting it down in such a way that no 
humankind with no law, no life was lost in the shutting down of CERN 1.0. And then the Archon Dracos took away um, control from the control center by using Puppet Master and um, cranked it up. I just kept pushing it, to, uh, ran it up to a uh, guesstimate. They ran it up to 50 to 60 tera electron volts, as much as the main breakers would handle until they fused shut which caused a reversal polarity into the main line. And the main line took on 33,000 amps from one line and 33,000 amps from the other line. We thought it was 33,000 amps total. It was 66,000 amps total, hmm. which um, was grounding between the inner shield and the outer the vacuum line uh, to and the the outer shell tube and it was producing lightning all around them and then you had secondary explosions of what um, nitrogen compressors were, were still feeding nitrogen into the hole and you had explosions here and there the beam cut through and wouldn't stop uh, it superheated all of the groundwater that it could. Uh, while fusing off the water source areas, creating a, uh, multiple crevasses in uh, six and a half miles away to the center of CERN, where we first observed it blowing a hole through the atrium of the main city in Geneva. Mm -hmm. And um, all along the river, um, and throughout the city, fissures were created and superheated steam came up into the houses and killed. The uh, initial estimate was at that particular incident where is it, you, the superheated steam uh, killed a minimum of 240,000 people at the initial incident and began to, and of course it's radioactive, and um, it ended up, uh, that that's as far as we've got is a rough estimate in the parking lot area at the morgue area was 240,000, and we have not even begun to count um, the Expo Center which is at the train station, not the parking lot, but the train station. So um, until that is figured out, then we're still at, but the caskets just line the entire Expo Center and they're double stacked. So there's 10 bodies, one, you know, five bodies and then on the top of that is another five bodies. And there's 10 by 10, so there's um, 10 by 10 by 10 squares. Uh, there's a thousand people in there. I couldn't even, we haven't even counted it yet, so we don't know uh, the grand total of how many people, but you know, the chances are that it's going to exceed 300,000 people. Just, Over 40 million. Just, yeah, 300. It's going to exceed 300,000 people easy. Uh, when we, if you look at, um, if you consider the fact that they're using trains to pull out what it was um, in various places, the body count can be between 240,000 to over 300,000 people. So. Most of the people that sort of died, and most of them died in such a way that uh, very few of them had the opportunity to actually make contact with anybody or notify anybody that anything was happening in certain Switzerland. And the mainstream media shut down, and they contained it, the borders. Um, it was 
three months later, in December, right, right after Christmas is when they close the borders, close the airport, and started doing reconstruction and uh, demolitions for, and finding bodies. And of course, that's when uh, the, the body count rises. And it doesn't include those pe people that you just saw, Patty, pointing out where the radiation has <clears throat> to, and the radiation rad count. It doesn't include the long-term damage that, which will run into the millions. And so it was not our intention to do that. We didn't do it. We just stopped them from running the machine because they were burning people's brains. They were burning the entire world. They were um, damaging the brains of human beings on every continent in the world. So oh. terrible. Yeah. Well, we thank you for everything you've done. You and all the different yep. men and women that have gifted their lives in there. That, that didn't help much, but that no. was not our intention. But they did it, and uh, all we wanted to do was be free. We wanted to free humankind from the mind control, weather control, everything all rolled up in a real tight, unique, extremely high-tech, extremely multi-mode, multi-mission device called CERN and the 300 other plus synchrotrons across the globe, including synchrotrons that are tiny enough to put in a needle and inject in the human body, manufactured exactly. at Duke University at the Piedmont Triad Research Center. Well, so, you got to remember too, look what was happening with Keshi. They intended to take out all our soldiers with the Keshi stuff too. The, well, the, the thing is, is when CERN went down, Keshi came on the scene. There we go with the pens and with the the wanting to accelerate and amplify PPAI signal because CERN was unsuccessful with creating a macro singularity over 165 kilometers in width. Uh, they could not develop a stable wormhole. The stronghold at Mimas uh, could not migrate to Earth. We destroyed uh, an ancient stargate. They tried to jump start from Mimas, back started from Earth to Mimas. Mm -hmm. That was destroyed. We finally took down the ancient dialer, the modern, well, the ancient Stargate and the modern digital dialer. Mm -hmm. um, and so uh, now we're dealing with, uh, we destroyed CERN 2.0. Right. in which they turned to Brookhaven National Laboratories, which uh, collaborated with them in order to piecemeal um, Totem and Star uh, to oh, help Alice and to improve the operation of uh, CMS. And uh, Puppet Master was used to do that in real time so that the time wouldn't be as far off as using fiber optics. And we shut that down and then they piecemealed uh, Sandia Labs with um, Burmy Labs in Batavia, Illinois, which plugged into Brookhaven National Laboratory along with STAR. Mm -hmm. and, and at least 90 other star light sources. And light source. The globe. Yeah, light source. And we shut most of that down and then CERN 3.0 came on and began to uh, run at low voltages because they could not run it. At, at, uh, they had to run it back down and that's where they're doing now is they're experimenting on between um, 65 mega electron um, mega electron volts 450 giga uh, giga electron volts and 6.5 to electron volts on each beam for a total of 13 um, they have run it up to 50 tesla electron volts but nobody's run it up to 
a hundred like what they did with when they ruined it. And so uh, they as they run it till it overheats and they shut it down. But it's enough to keep humankind and um, keep the AI still in the running. And so CERN has to be put down permanently along with 300 other synchrotrons before humankind can even begin to start to wake up. And then it's going to take months for them to realize what has happened to them and how they have been, their brain has been damaged mm -hmm. worldwide. And this 7 billion people. And then once that is done, then we're going to have to deal with uh, predatory pathogenic artificial intelligence. Right. And uh, then we start with the politicians and the actual politicians, which means we start, they either help us, or we don't need their help. We don't mm -hmm. need ET's help. We don't need non terrestrial yeah. help. We, they need our help. And they're fighting over, like a, two dogs fighting over a bone, and we're the bone. And we will not be, we're not going to be eaten. We're going to eat, we're going to eat them. They're not going to eat us. <laughs> exactly. Because if we have to take this to the limit, it's better to go out fighting than it is to yeah, you know, lay down <coughs> and give up your sovereignty. And we're not going to quit until whatever happens happens but the blue kachina just came back so i have no idea what's going to take place at this point but the fighting has increased a little bit more not as bad as i've seen it not as bad as patty's seen it right. but the blue kachina is about where um between saturn's saturn and mars it's there now can be seen on them well, actually, no. It's in the, you got to remember where oh, yes, okay. Blasco C two and three C three is. It's in between Mars and Earth's orbit. Yes, so it's even closer. Otherwise, it, it should, doesn't show up on the cam. Well, it should be showing up in the sky. Because yeah, that's uh, what I mean. People are reporting they're seeing it, but that they oh, it's never no. <laughs> no, it's, it's on hold at the moment. It's on hold. It's actually stopped. Never um, isn't. I, I keep saying. I keep. I can't say this enough. The H and L's drive Nibiru. They're not drunk drivers. Nibiru is a spaceship world, six times the size of Earth. They're not plowing into us. Period. End of discussion. No, I, I discovered something. Patty, did you see what the what I discovered yesterday? What was this? Um. In watching the Blue Kachina, I sped up the footage that we were given. There was 14 hours missing between the 9th and the 14th. Uh, the 9th and the, there was 14 hours missing first, and then all of a sudden it was off for a day, and redacted, and brought in again. And when I began to run it at high speed, I noticed uh, I could recognize I didn't recognize the star system because you have to run it at fast speed in order to see stellar drift versus uh, the battle and the battle planets moving around and everybody shooting at each other. When I ran at a high speed, I saw the stellar drift and I did not recognize the star system. When I finally looked it up, I'm looking at Pleiades, the seven sisters of Pleiades, but right. it is not at the right declination. It is not at the right ascension. This solar system has been removed from its original orbit, surrounded by dark matters. But it was postulated a year ago that that uh, Earth had been uh, the entire solar system had been surrounded by dark matter, and that uh, blue beam with all the spraying and everything was holograph showing that. Everything was just fine and dandy. And I'm telling you what you see today in the upper left-hand corner of Lasco C3 is uh, the Seven Sisters of Pleiades, and it's not at the right declination, not at the right. Um, what, what were you using to look at it, Dan? Yeah, could we get that clarified? Because we were talking about that down and I earlier. Uh, the naked eye, because everyone knows no, what, pretty what, much from... 
looking from the old position, if we, if this is truly what I'm perceiving, I mean, I could be mistaken. I hope I am. But when I'm looking at Pleiades from uh, or the seven stars, and then all of a sudden, what we thought was a town meeting where everybody was running over there talking, there are seven stars there. And it's from a totally different point of view in the galaxy. No, when I looked at that, I told you that there's two Draco ships and a bunch of other ships. It's shepherding. not. It's not. Speed it up. Speed it up uh, as fast as it'll go. And you will see it is a part of stellar drift. It is the Pleiades, and it is in the wrong place. And uh, you were sick, and I couldn't. I, I can't. Get, I, I can't get to that from my laptop. Yeah, the the last go C three for the last three days, take it one day at a time. Actually, I would start on the ninth because that's when they started redacting it. But I didn't recognize the stars at all, and uh, I'm not that educated in in astronomy, but I. I, there are some systems I recognize, and when I look at it from a different point of view, it was the Pleiades, and it's we're even with the Pleiades now, rather than looking uh, from like a the pole star know, in the Big Dipper. Yeah, yeah or some I mean, it's we have 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 got to have been removed at least because it between when the Earth was in its original orbit and it's been for twenty six thousand years. It's 840 light years from Earth to the nebulae in Orion's belt. Now, Pleiades is on this side of it, so um, I'm guesstimated we, we are 435 light years out of place as far as the, sol the entire solar system. Um, I, I hope I am wrong. Please, somebody who is, knows about astronomy, um, helps out here because uh, it sounds like Emily, um, Emily Windsor Craig was not kidding when she made this. She told, she made the statement and everybody, uh, they couldn't believe that, that this could be possible. But with fourth density laser holography, the chemtrail spraying and high density holographic lasers, it is possible because I watch the sun on a telescope with a little dark spot at the eight o'clock position in real time do a 360 degree turn because there was a glitch in the hologram. In the program. So from if my guesstimation based on looking at the Pleiades from one angle versus looking at it sideways, we are 400 and between 430 and 435 light years out of position. And if my postulation is, I'm not going to postulate or sub, sub, you know, make any suppositions as of yet. Because um, I could tell you what I postulate, um, but I'd go into a, a rant. Yeah. <laughs> I, I already did with Pat. Stop like a madman, I was ready to. Uh, I was, I was on a, a rant, and uh, until it's until the postulation is made known by someone who's uh, an astronomer who can actually take uh, uh, bearings on the system and tell how far the solar system is out of place, or if in, indeed this is the Pleiades. The Seven Sisters, which, uh, according to what I saw on the map, it is, but from, from a completely point, different point of view. Yep. And I need somebody that's an astronomer that can tell me, based on the readings, it can be done with uh, celestial navigation. I just need yeah. someone who can estimate to see if this postulation is true. It is I true. Need we need to find out why we're being dragged back 6,000 to the position that was 6,000 years ago. Because if we're being dragged back there for another 6,000 years, to oh. rotate back around, I don't, I don't know what, um, don't know what to say to that. Mm -hmm. So, let's end there. This is a good spot to end on. 
Well, I'm not going to be fed on for 6,000 years. It's right. time to right. start. It start time. It's time for the bone to start eating the dog. Right. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> Because we are not going to be, I mean, you could have yeah. a good dog and you have a bad dog fighting over a bone. But in the end, no matter who wins, dogs still eat bones. Right. And we are not going to be the bone. So, uh, whatever it takes. And Just do it. I'm going to say, um, this won't be the same place. Yeah. When we're done, then this won't be the same place. We'll do more updates on that too. Yeah. So, we'll and so like we need help. And <laughs> we, uh, uh, we need an ast astro navigator or a uh, an astronomer who can um, a celestial navigator or a celestial astronomer who can actually take bearing readings based on NASA's Soho Astro C three and Identif positively identify the Pleiades system and tell exactly where we are in the sol in the the universe and tell us how far we are from the previous our previous location because we are not we're being dragged through. Should we be able to do it through Stellarium or something, Patty? Well, once Patty's got the thing in a couple days, that should be up and running. Yeah, I'm I'm a, I'm going to go because I. I I don't you know I'm it's been a long upset. day. Yeah, and I'm I'm upset about the body count because it's like yeah. Uh, yeah. these these people in order to be processed within six months had to die the first day. So the the body counts between two hundred and forty thousand the first day, and that would be the fourteenth of November. November fifteenth, uh, and people being killed by the superheated steam and then the extreme um, heat from the plasma beams coming through the hospital and it would have to come through the hospital. You need to just shut it all down. Yeah. And, Baking uh, everything, just we've lock got it down. over 100,000, I've got over 50,000 photographs. Patty has over 100,000 photographs of CERN activity. After so that. somebody yeah. must somebody must be called on the carpet on this, but if we're being pulled back to go through another six thousand years of being eaten and taken and used for slaves, used as breeders, not happen. Then you know it, it's better to go out uh, and uh, scorch scorch everything outside this planet because I'm not going to scorch the earth anymore. It's already. It's enough damage. They've done enough I'm damage here. So Most of the people are um, humans. Yeah. It's time to take take the flight to those who and just start scorching space. And that includes the military industrial complex, yeah. military industrial extraterrestrial complex, and anyone who stands in our way. Anyone. Thank you. And exactly. So with that, I will say good night. All right. Thank you, Patty. So, thank you, Karen. Thank you, thank you Daniel. That's another episode of Project Ascension. We'll be back with more updates. Thank, Thank you. you.